within a city. Housing its own fire, security, and medical services. For 50 years, it has been the site of a vast cluster of technology. And people dedicated to the production of the finest telecommunications equipment in the world. This is Western Electric's Baltimore Works. One of the largest industrial employers in Baltimore City, the Baltimore Works is one of 20 major manufacturing locations in Western Electric. Employing some 6,000 people, the plant has built a solid reputation for producing high caliber telephone cable, cord, wire, and associated apparatus for the Bell system and abroad. The ground Baltimore Works now occupies had an entirely different character in 1929. It was known at the time as the Coney Island of the South, the Riverview Amusement Park. But the aging playground had long been winding down as a moneymaker and public diversion. Soon after purchase by Western Electric, the land was cleared of its once famous structures. With the construction of the plant, a new chapter in the history of communications began. 11 months after construction began, 500 employees were commuting to work daily. And the first reels of cable were shipped from the plant's own rail and docking facilities for use by the Chesapeake and Potomac Telephone Company. The plant's employee population grew during the 1930s as three additional shops reached full operations. Now Baltimore Works not only produced cable, but also wire, cord, and assorted telephone apparatus. But all that changed suddenly in December 1941. A date which will live in infamy. Those employees who did not go off to the war zones mobilized virtually overnight to meet some of the specialized needs of our nation's armed forces. Radar units, thousands of them. Flight trainers. And assorted communications gear. A nation, once again at peace, returned to the production of normal products and to more leisure activities, such as the 1945 Army-Navy game. It was broadcast on television from Philadelphia to the New York area over coaxial cable manufactured at Baltimore Works. Coaxial cable, first introduced in 1939 to transmit long-distance telephone, telegraph, and eventually high-frequency television signals, was one of the many Baltimore Works products needed to meet post-war communications demands. In the 1950s, the manufacture of color cords was part of the nationwide debut of color telephone handsets and bases. By 1956, the manufacture of telephone apparatus had increased and diversified to such an extent that a new building was constructed to house expanded product lines. During the 1960s, the demand for more overseas circuits had Baltimore Works employees concentrating on the manufacture of a new ocean cable for use in linking transoceanic telecommunication systems.
cable shop continued to produce the tougher, more resilient submarine cable designed for shallower water transmission lines. Today, the plant's cable shop employees produce several types of cable, including plastic insulated or exchange cable. This is installed between telephone central offices and between your home and a central office. People in Baltimore Works Wire Shop make telephone drop and service wire, commonly located in and around a telephone customer's residence or business. The easily recognizable spring cord, which connects a telephone handset to its base, is made in 20 colors by people in the plant's cord shop. 2,500 other types are also made here. And what about the many parts of a telephone system specifically designed to connect and protect the communications network and its intricate equipment? That's the job of the people of Baltimore Works Apparatus Shop, who make protecting devices that function like a household fuse, shielding phone equipment against lightning damage and electrical overloads. They also produce central office connectors. Some 2,000 different types of telephone apparatus are made at the plant today. But there is more to Baltimore Works than its products and the people who make them. Baltimore Works is engineering people who design and develop products and equipment. It is skilled tradespeople who perform daily maintenance on the buildings and the plant's manufacturing equipment. Baltimore Works is a staff of office workers managing the many day-to-day -day administrative duties. It is also a professional medical staff, working in a modern medical center that is available to all employees. And Baltimore Works is a specially trained team of people with the know-how to give emergency first aid and protect the plant and its people from fire. And it is those who perform the around-the-clock security functions. These are some of the employees who have shared the moments, achievements, and milestones which reflect a history, not of concrete, brick and steel structures, but of the men and women who over the years have journeyed through a major depression, a world war, a post-war boom, and the continuing development of modern intricate telephone equipment. Yes, this is the Baltimore Works which has built a long and memorable heritage. Without the dedication and skills of these men and women, we could not have made this journey.